okay, this video is going to be on a good exam style question that you would see in systems of equations that utilizes elimination in particular. So let's look at this first example. It says determine the values of a and b for this particular equation and then what it gives us is it gives us two separate points and it says these two points are points on this graph. Okay, so what we do, how we would approach this is the reason why they would give us a point is to substitute this point into this equation, right? So I could substitute negative 2 in for my x's and I could substitute negative 6 in for y. So let's substitute that point in and see what we would get. So we would have negative 6 is equal to negative 5. Um, here's my first x and that would be negative 2 squared plus a input another negative 2, and then plus b. From here, I would have negative 6 is equal to, so negative t uh, 5 times negative 2 squared, that's going to give us negative 20. I'm going to rewrite this as negative 2a, and then plus b. What I'm going to do is I could bring the 6 to the right-hand side and set this equal to 0, but I'm actually going to add 20 to both sides. And if I do that, I would have 14 is equal to negative 2a plus b. So there's nothing else I could do um, with that point. But then they've given me another point, so I could do the exact same thing. That point gives me an x and a y coordinate, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to plug that point into the equation given. So negative 3 is equal to negative 5 times 1 squared plus a times 1 plus b. Negative 3 is equal to negative 5 plus 1a plus b. And then let's bring that 5 over to the left-hand side like we did in the previous system. And we will get 2 is equal to 1a plus b. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, use elimination. I'm going to line these two systems up and I'm going to use elimination. And it doesn't matter which system you write first. Um, I'll write the first system. So 14 is equal to negative 2a plus b. And then below it, I'll write the second system. 2 is equal to 1a plus b. And I'm going to be eliminating the b's. And you say, OK, am I going to be adding or subtracting these two systems to eliminate the b's? Well, I would need to subtract in order to eliminate the b because b minus b would be 0b and that would eliminate my b's. Okay, so from here you would have 14 minus 2 which would give us 12 and then you would have negative 2 minus 1 which would give us negative 3 a's. Divide that side by negative 3 and that side by negative 3. And we are going to get a is equal to negative 4. From here, we would use substitution to figure out what b is. And it doesn't matter if we took that negative 4 for a and I put it into the second system or into the first system. You would be able to plug it into either system and you would get the exact same B value. So plug it into which system you think looks sort of the easier of the two. I'm going to plug it into this system here. So 2 is equal to 1. I'm going to take that A out and put a negative 4 plus B. And then I'm going to add 4 to both sides and I would get B is equal to 6. So there I've solved A is negative 4 and B is 6. What's nice about this question is there's actually a check that you'd be able to do on your calculator to see if you did this correctly. So we think that the A value is negative 4. So I think that that's negative 4. And I think that the B value is 6. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to type that quadratic into my calculator. Negative 5 
x squared minus 4x plus 6. And then from here, I could graph it. The graph isn't necessary. Um, what I want to look at is the table of values. And in particular, I want to look at this point when x is negative 2, is y in fact negative 6? And it is. That point matches. And I want to double check when x is 1, is y negative 3? And because these two points match, I know that my solution of a is equal to negative 4 and b is equal to 6 is correct. I've given you three more that you could practice, and they're going to sort of increase in difficulty, but they're very good practice. So I can set you up for this class example, but then what I would recommend is you pause the video, you try it, and then you would unpause um, to check your solution. But one thing uh, for this one before you get started, it gives you, it says determine the values of a and b in this polynomial function here. So just remember p of x, that just simply is y. So y is equal to negative 2x squared plus ax plus b. So it's set up exactly as above. And then what this p of 2 is equal to negative 18, remember this is the point on your graph. When x is 2, the corresponding y value is negative 18. So one of your points is 2 comma negative 18. And one of your points is when x is negative 3, it says the corresponding y value is negative 13. So again, you do the exact same as above. Um, I'm going to put this first point into the system. So I have negative 18 is equal to negative 2. Input a 2 here. Plus a times 2 plus b. Negative 18 is equal to, so this would give me 4. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. Uh, plus 2a plus b. And then like above, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to add that negative 8 to both sides, and I'm going to get negative 10 is equal to 2a plus b. Okay, let's input the second point. So negative 13 is equal to negative 2 negative 3 squared plus a times negative 3 plus b. Negative 13 is equal to, so this would give me 9 times negative 2 would give me negative 18 minus 3a plus b. And then I'll add 18 to both sides and I will get 5 is equal negative 3a plus b. Okay, so you've got your two separate systems, and I could see again that this is set up nicely to eliminate b. So write one system over top the other system. It doesn't matter which system is first. So actually what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep this system written as it is, and below that I'll write the negative 10 is equal to 2a plus b. Now when we were in class doing this one, a lot of students actually struggled with the elimination and subtracting negatives and what your answer would be. So again, I want you to pause this, see what you would get, and then unpause to see if you get the same A value that I would get. Okay, so the, B would, uh, the Bs would eliminate because B minus B would just cancel. This would be 5 minus negative 10. So remember that 5 minus negative 10, two negatives would give you a positive, and that would give you 15. Then you would have negative 3a minus 2a. So negative 3a minus 2a, that's going to be negative 5a. And you would divide both sides by negative 5, and you would have a is equal to negative 3. And then again, from here, put that into either system. 
um, I'll just actually put that into this system here since I've got room. So negative 10 is equal to 2 times negative 3 plus b. Negative 10 is equal to negative 6 plus b. Add 6 to both sides, and I'm going to have b is equal to negative 4. Now I would want to check this, right, uh, to make sure that this looks good. So I think a is negative 3, and I think that b is negative 4. So on my calculator, I do exactly as I did above. Make sure. Okay, so negative 2x squared and then minus 3x and minus 4. And I'm just going to look at my table of values. And the points that I want to check is this point right here. When x is negative 3, I want to check that the corresponding y value is negative 13, and it is. And I want to check when x is 2 is y negative 18. And that's how you would verify that you are, in fact, correct. So I've got two more. Um, I've got 6 and number 7 here. And these are actually questions from your Math 30-1 workbook. So you'll be doing these when you're in Math 30-1, but they apply uh, for Math 20-1 as well. So again, you could pause the video, try to work through this, and then I will uh, work through the solutions as well. Okay, so I'll input that first point. So A times 1 cubed plus B 1 squared plus 3 times 1 minus 4 negative 2 is equal to, so I've got 1a, or just simply a, plus b, um, plus 3 minus 4, that's going to give me minus 1. And then if I add that one to both sides, I'm going to get negative 1 is equal to a plus b. All right, let's input that second point of 2 comma 2. And I would have 2 is equal to a 2 cubed plus b 2 squared plus 3 times 2 minus 4. 2 is equal to 8a plus 4b plus 6 minus 4. So I'll just put plus 2 here. And then let's subtract 2 from both sides, and I'll get 0 is equal to 8a plus 4b. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this system where it is, and I'm going to put this system right below it. Um, okay, so I can right now eliminate the b's like I was able to do in the last example. Now, I could do a couple different things. I could solve, let's say, for b or a here, and then I could do substitution. But you know what? I want to keep doing elimination because that's what I was doing. And I'm going to eliminate the b's like I was doing before. So if I want to eliminate the b's, what I need to do is I need to multiply this system by 4. Okay, so watch what would happen. My first system is going to stay exactly as is. 0 is equal to 8a plus 4b. And then my second system, if I multiply everything by 4, I would get negative 4 is equal to 4a plus 4b. And now I'm set up to once again eliminate the b's. But be careful with your elimination, right? 4 minus 4 will cancel. 
zero minus negative four. Two negatives will give you a positive. So that actually equals four. Eight minus four a, so eight a minus four a, that is going to give you four a's. Divide each side by four and we will get a is equal to one. And then let's put that into this system here. If a is equal to one, and I would get b is equal to negative 2, okay? And again, to double check that, please make sure that you are typing a is 1, b is negative 2, and you put that into your calculator in y1, and you double check these two points. So I will allow you to do that, and then you could watch class example 7. Okay, what I like about this class example is actually three points are given, and there's three missing variables, an A, a B, and a C. But watch what happens when we input the first point. So we're given AX squared plus BX plus C. The first point that they give is when X is zero, Y is one. So if we look at that point, You hopefully you recognize what that point is but this is the y-intercept and remember that your y-intercept is always your c value on your quadratic so the c value is actually going to be one but how you would get that is uh, zero times a would just give me zero plus b times zero is zero plus c so c is equal to one so now with my uh, parabola, I know that C is 1. So now I could go to this point, and let's input that point. So 6 is equal to A times 1 squared plus B times 1 plus 1. 6 is equal to 1a or just a plus b plus 1. Let's get rid of that 1 and we're going to have 5 is equal to a plus b. All right, the next point was this guy and that coordinate was at negative 1 comma 2. So let's input that point. I'll just do that over here. 2 is equal to a negative 1 squared plus b negative 1 plus 1. 2 is equal to 1a minus 1b plus 1. Bring your 1 to the left, so minus 1 minus 1, you're going to get 1 is equal to 1a minus 1b. Okay, let's set up our systems again. So again, I'll just keep this system here, and I'll write this system right under it. So 5 is equal to 1a plus b. Now, if we look at these two systems, um, it's not the b's that are going to be eliminated if I subtract, right? So if I subtract, I would have negative 1 minus 1b, and that would give me negative 2b's. If I subtract, actually the a's would eliminate which is fine. But let's say I wanted to eliminate the B's, like to keep all the questions the same. What I would be doing to the two systems is I would actually be adding the two systems. So one plus five would give me six. One A plus one A would give me two A. And the B's would eliminate because you'd have negative one plus one. That's where the B's would eliminate. Divide both sides by two and you would get A is equal to three. And then we'll put A is 3 right here. And we will see that B is equal to 2. And again, make sure you're double checking your answer by graphing it. And then you are good to go.